What's up guys, Intelitech Studios here, and welcome to another episode of Vacuum Saved. And this, uh, well, um, this is going to be a two-part. I mean, not really two-part, it's going to be two separate episodes, because I got so many vacuums today that I cannot carry them all in one trip in my Toyota Avalon. <laughs> I know some, some of my friends have said, why don't you get a truck? I don't like trucks, and the truth is I would have enough space for all the vacuums were not for the fact that I have two brand new vacuums as well as a storage shelf that I still haven't pulled out still sitting in my car. So with that in mind, we've got some vacuums here, and let's try them out. All of these vacuums, except for this one, I got from the same friend who's been giving me all the other vacuums, our friend Justin. So I gave him 45 bucks for like 10, 10 vacuums, I think, and then this Eureka belong to a neighbor and they set it out a couple days ago and I grabbed it so so the first one that we're gonna run is this one that I've never seen before this dirt devil roommate um, let's see is there any way to tell when this one was made like all the other dirt devils so G 97 C so 1997 huh well I've never seen this one before. All these other vacuums, I've both seen and had before in some variant or another. Whereas this one, I have not. So this one will run first since it seems to be the most interesting. And this handle, the handle lock is broken on this. Yeah, handle release is busted. So it's gonna, it's gonna fall over. And I'm going to plug it in and hopefully not get shocked. Nope, didn't get shocked. has a brush roll on the bottom of it, which is interesting. So it seems like a, like a broom back sort of thing. Well, it works. I can tell that brush hole's working because it's uh, pulling along the carpet. So this actually does work. I'm wondering if I should keep this. This handle has this really weird loop on it, which I don't really like. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really hurt it. Well, actually, it's kind of nice. It doesn't really hurt it. But yeah, so minus the lock being broken, it appears to work. I wonder why they got rid of it. I guess probably just because the handle lock broke. Oh, and it's, it's cracked down there. This little cord hook is cracked. This is actually kind of nice. Um, I'm probably still going to sell it, though. I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I don't know. I may change my mind. I don't really need it. But um, it is kind of nice how it has super lightweight. Has It's abnormally tall for some reason. I don't know why it's as tall as it is. But and I guess we'll do the other stick back, which I've had a thousand of these before. Eureka Super Broom. Let's see if this thing catches fire. Basically, the goal is to see if any of these catch fire. And if they do, to hopefully get it on video. See, do these people leave this in the on position? Nope. Does this work? Yep, works just fine. Just needs a good cleaning. And there's that. Wait, how many amps is this? This is... Two amps, wow. So it's a two amp Eureka Super Room, so that works. So far, so good. So the two cheap, crappy things work. Let's see if any of these work. Now, there is a horrible smell uh, that I can smell. I don't know if it's coming from this Eureka or not. It may be, because I only smell it when I'm in front of the Eureka. Let's see. Yeah, I don't smell it anymore, so I think it's this Eureka, and I smell it again. Yep, this is disgusting. But hey, let's see if it catches fire. I need, I'm going to have to take a shower after this video. Okay, none of, none of these people left in the on position so far. Bro 
broken belt. Oh yeah, I forgot someone asked to see the bottoms of these. That's what that looks like. And frankly, you, you can kind of see the filter in there. Some of these are just too disgusting for me to honestly want to pull the filter apart on camera. But you can see the filter on that. It's not too horrible. It doesn't sound like it's clogged. Obviously, you saw the brush roll on that. That one doesn't have a brush roll. Next, this uh, stack of Hoovers. And there's another Hoover as well. That'll be in the next video. So in the next video, there's going to be another Hoover, a couple Sharks, probably a Bissell Bro Heat, and a Dirt Devil Hydro Clean. Not Hydro. Um, Endura Clean. Something like that. It's, it's that. it's the other Dirt Devil you can get at Big Lots right now. I forgot what it's called. Um, Hoover Wind Tunnel Supreme. This latch isn't working. Um, I've always wanted one of these Hoover wind tunnels, one of these non-self-propelled wind tunnels, but I don't really have many hopes for this. It's in pretty poor condition. I'm probably just going to sell it. And then maybe, hopefully, whenever my local vacuum store opens, they'll still have that transparent blue one that I really want, that he wanted 60 bucks for. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell this for, like, maybe 30 40 probably not 40 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. I don't know. This has a lot of chews in the cord, so I don't have high hopes for this. It is, and of course, well, every, no one ever talks to me, but then of course the moment, the moment I start filming, a bunch of people message me at once. All right, uh, let's see if this works. Check to make sure there's a bag in here first. I can't even get this off, wow. That is tight. What? It says easy open. That's not easy open. What the heck? I cannot open this thing. Wow. Um. Oh, I was going to say there's that filter, but it's missing. It has the dusting brush. Nothing else. There's the brush roll. There's the reading sticker. All right. With a much nicer hose. It's not that garbage wire frame hose or whatever you call it. It works. That brush roll doesn't sound very good, but it works. So far, so good. The cord clearly is in really bad shape. So I'll need to patch that up or probably just replace it if I can. Or if it, well, it doesn't really. Not a requirement, but it just looks kind of gaudy. I have, uh, I have three spare cords that I yanked off of some other machines. Um, so I've got a few cords if I need them. Uh, next we'll do, since I have that Hoover T-Series, and this is pretty similar to it, only it has a brush roll shut off and some sort of rudimentary clutch system. This one has the extension wand and the dusting brush, but doesn't have the uh, crevice tool. But beyond that, it's pretty similar to everything else. This one's a rewind model as well. The other Hoover is also a rewind, so that's nice. Plugging this in, and let's see. All right, I'm gonna guess this has like a clog or something. Oh, power button's up here, just like the T series.
Well, the brush hole doesn't sound the healthiest. But it looks like it was clogged, but I guess it just unclogged itself just now. Because a bunch of dirt just flew into the bin and it started spinning. But that's what the brush roll looks like right there. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. Are you so oh, you were on the phone. I couldn't see your phone. Like <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't talk to myself that often. <laughs> talk to my cat a lot. Yeah. Have a good one. Sorry guys, that was my that was my neighbor. Anyways, so this thing appears to work, um, and it seems like it's working just fine. So probably just this is probably another one that's just clean it up and sell it. So so far, so far everything's working. Uh, just minor little issues that I can fix. So that's really really nice. So. So, so far, I mean, for 45 bucks for 10 different vacuums, I don't think that it's really an issue so far. So, last for this video is the wind tunnel self-propelled. Uh, are you looking for a vacuum? <laughs> no. <laughs> I figured. Uh, with forms and a tiny, one of those stick vacuums that comes, the end comes off and makes it a dustbuster. Like one of those? Kinda? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. Have a good one. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. My hands don't work very well sometimes, and I have a laptop that I need a screen replaced. Oh, my apologies for that interruption. So that one appears to work, that one appears to work, those two appear to work. Uh, now for this video, can we go for a, oh yeah, and then that garbage Eureka works. Um, Self-propelled on or off, I'm gonna turn it off. There we go. So this is the wind tunnel self-propelled, but you should never lift by this handle, but everyone does anyway, so I'm gonna assume this part's probably broken. But, um, oh, yep, got the Hoover lean, like they always do. Let's check this filter real quick. Oh, that looks a little bit dirty, but it's fine. It's got the turbo brush, got the two wands, and the crevice tool. Nothing else, though. That's still nice. It has that. Checking the brush roll. Yeah, I just haven't ordered the screen, but... So we got this anniversary self-propelled this is obviously a TTI version it's still 12 amps uh, manufacturer is B11A so this is 2011 so not too terribly old but um, all of these are gonna be at least five years old at this point I'm pretty sure no I, th I think they just continued this in 2017 I'm pretty sure so uh, or maybe 2018 something to that effect so you ju you're just finally at the point where you can't really find these anymore. Um, but yeah, let's see if this one works. Uh, brush roll doesn't work. I can already see through the window. It smells like ass. Oh, looks like they blew up a bag. Ooh, there's ants in here. Or maybe ticks or something. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one outside. And uh, this one's definitely not going into the house for a, for a long time. I don't think I have anything on me. But yeah, it turns on, but it needs, obviously it needs a pretty significant deep cleaning. So, but still, you know, needs, needs a new, either a brush roll, maybe a new clutch belt something to that effect um, but yeah it's still kind of functional so yeah that's pretty much it wrap the cord up on this one so that's pretty much it for this video um, and I'll do another vacuum save video with the rest of the machines that I got assuming that someone didn't steal them in the time that I've been doing this video so I need to go back to that friend's house and check so this is I'm gonna have to sit outside for a little bit and um, same thing with the Eureka because this is really filthy as well 
honestly that looks like a bird crapped on it which is not good um but yeah so that's the all these vacuums the wind tunnel need to light line the quarter on but uh yeah so i think most of these are going to be sold um i don't really see any reason to keep any of these but uh yeah so really th this is probably the only one that i'm really considering keeping that and maybe that wind tunnel but it's it's a long shot this this one's in such poor condition that i'd probably rather just fix it up as much as i can sell it for a reduced price and then just put that towards getting one that's been refurbished uh you know already so that's that and this is Intellitech studio signing out with this episode of vacuum saved hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be another one coming hopefully pretty soon and i'll see you guys in the next one peace